Hey everyone, thank you for stopping by Living To Do's review of The Shy, season six. We're in a new season. It's back. It's called New Shy City. All the players are back um, and everybody looks like they're doing well. Um, looks like there's improvement in most everyone's life. We start off with Keisha and Emmett. They're still together. They're living together with their kids under one roof. But it seems like the honeymoon is over. They're not little love bugs, little lovebirds anymore. They're bickering and fighting and just the day-to-day -day living. It gets on, you know, you can get on people's nerves. So we show them fussing. Uh, but his business is doing well. Smokey's is doing well. He's in business with Duda, and that's not good. And uh, Keisha's not happy about it. But um, Duda gets him established. I think they have a franchise in New York they haven't seen yet. Duda is buying him nice tailored double-breasted suits, which I think when I see a man in that, I always think something's up. They just look ridiculous to me. Uh, <laughs> don't they to you? Yeah, it's not uh, the best look. Sometimes not, you have to really find a good look. Yeah, it don't work for me. For doesn't work for me at all. Uh, he got his baby mama, Tiffany, a new car with all the money he's making. She asked. He provided. Keisha's not happy with that because he didn't talk to Keisha about it first off. Not to really ask for permission, but just to have a conversation that was going down. And, you know, so she goes, well, I want a new, a bigger place. And after talking to Duda, Duda says, then get her a, be a bigger place. Take care of all your baby mothers. And I don't think that's wise. Um, yeah. You gotta Duda's throwing Emma off the deep end. Yeah, Emma, uh, D Duda is not a good man. It shows over and over again. Um, we all know this. Why doesn't, why doesn't Emmett know it? You should know this. Doesn't he know that he had something to do with um, Jason's killing? He, and Jason was a good guy to him. I don't think he's aware. I don't understand why even still he's in the neighborhood. There's talks. Everyone should stay clear of a man that is well known for being a bad guy. Just because someone throws money your way, you just don't follow him. That's what drug dealers do. They give you something for free because they know you're going to be addicted and come back. If you all know the game, be smarter. Don't Don't indulge. I mean, Duda picks up Ode, uh, Emmett from his house in a black car, and he got Bakari, you know, he's one of his guys now. Bakari, one of that street kid from last year. He's running with Duda now. Um, they take Emmett to, uh, was it a cigar lounge? It was. Okay, it was a cigar I lounge. It was Duda's private cigar lounge. And I guess it's open to the public because another man's in there at his table, and I didn't hear him making any noise, but Duda asked him to be quiet. And the man was an alpha man. He's like, don't tell me to be quiet. And when Duda got ready to go, when he was ready to go, he got up and shot the man several times, killing him in front of Emmett, spooking Emmett. Emmett, you already know the deal. This is what <laughs> he's about. And then the goons came and cleaned up the body like robots. Like some AI? Yeah, like there's a procedure book to do this, and they're just following procedure. <laughs> so stupid. Just walking around waiting for Duda to lay someone out. Oh, my God. Okay, time to work. <laughs> yeah. um, he's also working with Nuck, um, who was Nuck a guy from, well, he was working, was Nuck working with Q last year? Correct. And now he's with Duda, one of his bad guys. So you got Nuck, you got Bakari. And Nuck is going around, they're still in cars, vintage cars, and Duda wants the vin First of all, if you got all this money, why are you stealing? You know what I'm saying? It, he's just, just up to no good. He's just so no good. He just uh, wants to be a bad guy every day. Yeah, every day. <laughs> if you got this money, turn yourself around and do legit business. Don't go around stealing cars. How old are you? That's so ridiculous. 
about to be six years old. Yeah. Young guys' cars. <laughs> Just dumb. And he is still sniffing after Tracy. After Tracy goes out with the girls, Jada, Nina, and Dre, and they're all happily with somebody married, in fact. And she's the one not married. And she's, I'm just doing me now. I'm just doing me until Duda comes knocking. And she did put up a halfway good fight. But for whatever reason, good fight. <laughs> she gives in to him. <laughs> right? Yeah. Go away. Go away. And then he looks into her eyes and she can't help herself. It's like, what? <laughs> any killer, any man that kills another man that's not a, a valid reason is just, he shouldn't, he shouldn't even know your name. Turn your back to him all the time. I just can't stand bad people. Um, so apparently she slept with Duda and we got to see where this goes. We'll see what happens. Well, Kevin, young little Kevin, is moving out of his parents or his mother's house into his own place. He got his own apartment, and they even mentioned he had a car. I was like, so he got a new car. Kevin uh, and Emmett got a new car. He didn't we are, mention, or we didn't see the car though. He mentioned we, it, but we didn't. See yeah, because he has a car note. And he goes back to his mom's house to get food. And she's like, I don't think so. You're an adult. You got responsibility. Pay, get your own food. Don't come over here and get food. But he has a party for all his friends. And his friends, of course, are Jake and Gemma. They're still together. And Jake is selling his t-shirts that he's making. Um, not efficiently, but he's selling them. And Gemma is helping him with that. Uh... And we have Bakari. Bakari's there, and he's with Lene. Lene has been adopted by Kevin's family. Uh, so they're together hanging out. And Kevin, after the party, they had a little kickback. After the little kickback was over, Kevin is kissing up on Maisha. Huh. Didn't they like each other? He liked her first. They liked each other first, and then she went to Papa. I believe so. And Papa works at Smokey's, and there's a girl a little bit older than him. Looks like they might have a love interest later in the season. So that's going on. Kevin and Maisha are back. Interesting duo. Mm-hmm. See what happens. Well, and something interesting, odd, I didn't see it coming, is Gemma's dad, Marcus, hanging out with Tierra. Correct. She was Vince or Victor's former fake girlfriend and um i don't know how and why this happened and it doesn't make sense to me marcus is a good looking man not that she's ugly or anything but she's snooty and you can get a nice lady a nice lady marcus you don't need to be with this snooty girl she's an older version of his daughter that is true <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think of that huh uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, new mama's in town there, Gemma. <laughs> and she knows things. Like, you know, you can be smart or whatnot. Because she said, she, um, Marcus and Tierra are together. They're dating, or if you want to call it that. They're, um, he's sleeping with her in his house that he shares with Gemma, making all kinds of noise, calling. And Tierra's calling him daddy. And the next morning, Gemma's all, I should be the only girl in this house calling you daddy. Yes, that's the way it should be because Tierra and Marcus. That's gonna, <laughs> you know, that's gonna make for good TV because I know that Tierra girl girl is gonna have some smart remarks to say to Gemma and Gemma's back and forth. Back. <laughs> it might so turn fun. into a fist fight, and I'm here for it. <laughs> uh. Also, still together is Shad and Deja. Shad is living at Deja's house. You know, she must have a good job. She's paying all the bills. And he wants to do more for her. He's looking for work. You know, he's gonna. He's trying to smoke weed in her house. She's like, uh-uh, don't do that. And I think he thinks if he it contributes to the household, he then can smoke weed in her house. But, you know, have some, have some self-respect. Have some respect for her. She has all these nice furnishings. 
Why would she, why would you want to mess that up for her? Step outside. That's just, ugh. Guys don't think. Um, who else is together? Oh, Darnell and Jada still, um, they're on, they're still newlyweds and things are going good with them. We didn't see too much with them. But they both, in their scenes, they seem very happy in the relationship still. And Tiff is still with Rob. Uh, they live together at Rob's place. Emmett brought the car that she requested over to, to Tiff's house in front of Rob. Because uh, she asked her, it's a baby mom. And he walked away. You know, he didn't want nothing from her. Uh, Emmett left. And Tiff was quickly depreciating that car with Rob. Oh my. <laughs> Is that one way to put it? That's a great way to put it. Check out that scene. Um, and then we have Victor. Victor, which was Trig, is was running for city council. He has a campaign manager trying to help him get over uh, with the voters. He's running behind in the polls. Uh, he's still with his his transgender girlfriend Fatima uh, they show them sleeping together or whatnot and he wants her to you know be up and up out in front with the voters you know he wants her on his arm but she wants to hold back a little bit because she doesn't want all that scrutiny with her being a transgender on his arm he doesn't want to cause any problems and I guess you would get tired of that all the time always talking to the next person who's not used to it and you know you got things to do you know I just don't check out my website or his platform his message and read all about her just I, I, she wants to lay back because people are going to criticize. It's not widely accepted. So, and she's doing it, I think, out of um, love for him, not to cause any pro problems with him. But the campaign manager, he wants to help Victor get over in the poll, so he needs a viral moment. And the viral moment, um, Victor was at Smokey's getting something to eat. And Papa spilt all the drinks on him, on his shirt, on his suit. And he had to take off his shirt. Somebody's filming it. And it goes viral. And somehow they make it seem that that helped him with the voters getting over. And he actually won his city councilman seat. Uh, he didn't know what was happening. But I'm sure the campaign manager set that all up. It was just really weird how... Uh, Papa had the first of all it's a fast food place where you just get your food at the counter get your probably your own drinks and you just so happen to have a bunch of drinks going to a table <laughs> it was it was all whatever but it gave us a chance to see see Victor Luke James cute if you don't know he sings really really good check him out uh, take off his shirt and go viral what else happened was that about it uh, with the show. You remember anything else? We have Keisha. She's getting a new job in daycare and she speaks her mind with one of the teachers. Uh, she want, I guess she wants to correct something that she sees a teacher doing with one of the children who doesn't want to read in, in front of the class. And she gets, Keisha gets that child aside and the child re he reads really, really well. He just wasn't comfortable reading and he didn't feel like he could speak his mind. Uh, in that environment. So we're going to probably see something of that come about. And that was interesting. Cute kid. Um, but other than that, that was pretty much Quick it. Intro it was, season. Exactly. It was more just um, intro, an introduction to the season. Nothing really major happened other than Duda just shooting somebody in his club at the cigar lounge, killing him. And, That's pretty much it. And like, that was the big thing. And everybody's doing well with the... They didn't talk about the gaming that Kevin's doing, but we know from last season that was where he was getting his money. Uh, so he got his place, and uh, Emmett has a new car. I think it has a BMW or something. Okay. A Benz. A Benz, okay, a Benz. So he's doing well. Um, but that is it for now. Uh, thank you for staying with us to the end. Please like the video. 
and subscribe to the channel. We would really appreciate it. And we thank you in advance. But we gotta go, cause what? We got living to. Bye.